Good morning everybody, it is the morning for me and I'm shooting an old fashioned Q&A with some coffee. I don't exactly know what this is, it's like some like quick blend, I don't know, it's brown. I usually drink my coffee black but this will do. But shout out to Omar for giving it to me because I'm going to try it out and I hope it tastes good. This Mmm, yeah, it tastes good. But it's been a while since I've done like an old fashioned QA, like how I used to do QAs. See, what I used to do, I would like schedule a QA, be like, hey, snap me questions, I'm doing a QA. I haven't done that in a really long time, so we're gonna be starting out with Snapchat questions. Alright, so the first thing I open that is actually content is. Hey, can I get the background? Backgrounds are still going out, so there's a background. Hey, bro, I watch your YouTube channel and I was wondering if I can get the background wallpaper. Another background. And I guess I could say everyone's names. That was from Kobe. This guy said, because of you, man, I got Lux. That's what's up, man. This hair's like red too. Or it looks red, it's like brown, light brown or something. Yo, I liked your video about how you don't listen to secular music so much that I'm trying to emulate you. That being said, what should I listen to now? LOL. What are some of your favorite artists so that I can get a feel for what I should be listening to? So transitioning out of secular music into, I guess, worship or gospel. Find music you like. I have a lot of music on the gospel end that I really, really enjoy and I like listening to. And I can literally listen to it over and over and over again. Just because like the message behind it and everything about it is like really good. But some of the artists I listen to are Tasha Cobbs, Marvin Sapp, JJ Harrison, Travis Green, Montel Fish, uh, Hezekiah Walker. I believe that's how you say his name. I listen to the Canton Spirituals. If you guys know who they are, then like you are you go way back or something, I don't know. My dad listened to him, so I listened to him too. But yeah, those are some of the artists that I listen to, and it really does help out to like renew your mind and listen to new things, in my opinion. Someone asked about the video, I can still dunk. In the video where I was uh, dunking still, they said hey, is that the ASU court? It's actually not, it's the GCU just outdoor court. And that's from Shay. Nathan Arenas was asking for the background and he asked if his hair texture was the right texture in order to get dreadlocks. He's using the sponge method and it looks like he's doing the right thing. So, message him back on here. Hi, you're my favorite YouTuber. I'm about to get dreads, that's cool. Um, X100 clip, that's who that's from. Doing Tauro. Oh yeah. And if any of you guys are wondering, I dropped my phone yesterday. That was interesting. One thing that I did know about yesterday, my Sabbath day, the devil was trying to get me so, like, he was trying so hard, and I'm just like, what are you doing? Can't see me, 063. Hey, what's up, man? I had a quick question. I started my log journey by getting it twisted, but I want to start freeforming, can I? And also, how do I go about doing it? Please get back to me, bro. Thanks, be smooth, brother. You know, a lot of people do ask me this question. How do I start dreadlocks? How do I start dreadlocks for my hair? And it's like, that's what I'm here for. In my head, I'm like, yo, just watch YouTube videos because that's how I learned. But then, like, you are watching a YouTube video, so I'm here to supply the answer. So, he got his hair twisted and he wants to start freeforming. So, say you want to freeform out of twists, all you do is don't maintain your hair anymore. So, this man said he started his dreads at the end of last year and they still look kind of short. And he's asking, is it normal or unusual for the process? A lot of people's hair looks short for a long amount of time until, like, it actually, I don't know, gets longer. It, and it's weird. Like, my hair seems like it grows really fast. Some of the people's hair, they'll be growing it for like a year and it'll be like an inch long. And it's just all different. I have noticed that if you're African and you have really thick hair, it does seem like it takes longer to grow. Even though it does grow at the same speed, it does seem like it's growing slower just because of how coarse it is. Which, I would be happy if my hair was that coarse. But then again, I also like the texture of my hair. So, one thing to remember when you're getting dreadlocks is to have patience. I know I said a lot, but also appreciate every step that you're at. Like, fair hair is short, appreciate it. Like, enjoy your time when it's short. Like me, I liked my hair when it was short, and I like it now. There is some times where I'm like, man, I kind of wish my hair was short again, but then, like, I like it long too. Whoa, this dude has cool hair. Bro, I did the rip and twist method. How long do I have to wait to shower it? Holy crap, his hair's dope. Look at all these pictures. And that's from Anas Yusuf. Can he wash it? I'm thinking right now that since he did Rip and Twist that he can wash it already. It's your boy, Tyler. Hey Gunther, can I have a great background? Also, what rapper do you think has the best dread style? Good question. I like Playboy Cardi's. His hair is pretty cool. I, 
I did mention that in this video. But yeah, I think I would just say Playboy Cardi and Amine's hair is really cool too. Question comes from Snups. I'm starting dreads and I was wondering if I should use rubber bands in my hair for the lock to stay. Uh, you can for sure. It does help out a lot and some people don't need it. Some people do need it. Um, some people are just like, if you want to speed up the process, it does help. Overall, this thing just kind of speeds up the process. Nobody really needs it, but it does help. From Jay Jenkins 874 Hey Gunther, I love your videos and I watch them all. I wanted to ask if I got my dreads done by a beautician, will they turn out like yours? And should I dye my hair before or after my dreads have locked? Good questions. So a beautician or a loctician, if you want to get your hair locked up by them, will it look the same as mine? If they do the same route, if they do start out with sponge rub, and then they maintain it with like crocheting it then yeah it'll turn out like mine because those are the steps that I did to get my hair um, and would it be smart to dye your hair before or after the dreads have locked it's also another good question I think probably it would be better I mean either way would be fine me personally I dyed my hair before I got my dreadlocks that's why you see some of these tips are blonde I don't know if you can tell in this lighting probably not but but yeah, my hair was dyed before I actually locked it up. And it wasn't something I did on purpose, it just kind of turned out that way, so my tips are blonde now. I'm gonna actually go with a dyeing your hair before you get it locked up, and I think that's the best route to go. Actually, no, 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 don't do that. Dye your hair after you get it locked up, so that your hair is at its maximum strength, and that it's like actually, and if it's curly, like it'll actually stay curled up, because I know when you bleach your hair or dye it, it can rip your hair of its nutrients and stuff, so really watch out for that. So I prefer dyeing it after the dreadlocks. But yo, I'm so glad you guys decided to click on this video and just chill with me and we talk, answer questions, and yeah, just, cool things like that. But I have some stuff laid out for the rest of this week. Announcement real quick. Me and Candice are going to visit her family tomorrow. So what I'm doing is today I'm working my butt off for Gunslock and Gunther the Great. Pushing out a lot of videos. Well, making a lot of videos, not pushing them out yet. They're still going to be daily videos. They're going to come out every single day, but I'm going to be working my tail off. So y'all, I hope you guys are excited. I know I'm excited. I'm ready to see how this is all going to turn out. One of the best things I do know is that when I plan something, it works out way better than me just like going on the fly. So me planning this, I already know it's going to do better than the spontaneous things even though spontaneous things are awesome as well but that's a whole different thing but i'm glad that you guys stuck to this video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if i answered your question comment down below i don't know who you guys are but other than that i'll see you guys tomorrow hope you guys have an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out and god bless